104.9 Sunshine FM. Well, we're all saying that the party's going to be on uh, in two weeks' time at the Urban Country Music Festival. Well, I have a gentleman on the phone right now who's going to tell me the party's actually at the Harveys. Joining us right now, Adam Harvey. The party is going to be in two weeks' time in the Cusack Arena at Urban Country Music Festival. 6.55pm, you hit the stage. Yeah, that's exactly right, and uh, I can't wait. I love playing up there. You know, I know we always love getting up there and playing some shows. It should be a massive festival, and one of the things I love about it is that, you know, there's a lot of great Aussie artists up there. You know, there's my good mate Troy Casadale and Sarah Store and a whole bunch of really great acts, but all really good Aussie country acts. And I think that's a, a really nice thing that the uh, the festival have done this year, you know. It's, yeah, it's great. It's, a lot of people have been saying the lineup's fantastic. <clears throat> and looking at like, the Saturday night, we've got Amber Lawrence, Owen Campbell, going to give us a little bit of blues there. Shane yep. Nicholson, Mickey Pye, Sarah Store, Chelsea Bass from yourself, Luke O'Shea, Troy Casadale, the Wolverine. Oh, I love those guys. And, of course, Travis Collins is going to finish the night out. So uh, it is going yeah, to be a cracker. And, That's just one night. And all great Aussie artists. Yeah, you know? That's it is. fantastic. And I, I think they're on a winner there with that one. But, um, yeah, we always, uh, you know, have a, have a great time. I, I haven't played up there for uh, probably... Is it four years? Oh, I'm trying to think, two yeah. years or something? Or be, it might, no, yeah. it might have been three years. Yeah, it might be longer. Yeah, I'm getting a bit yeah. older too now. I'm starting to get forgetful. See, I'm <laughs> too 41. many beers. See, that's the problem. Hey, that's too out. many beers. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about too many beers. What has happened to your partner? Well, look. It is the man flu. It's not the beers. Oh, he wishes really? it was the beers. Really? Or you're having me on or not? Well, I don't know. You're a man. Is the man is the man flu real? I didn't think so. Ah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All men out there, Sorry. the women are right. <laughs> it is not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought us blokes uh, crack on, but, uh, I don't but anyway, know. mate, I'm sure uh, I'm sure down. he'll come good. He'll man come good. Down, he'll right. be fine. Yeah, and I knew I was going to have a chat to you tonight. I thought, you know, I could do something real smarty pants and go through your latest album. You know, do something like you know, grab your pen and paper, write down blah 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 blah, because we're all invited to Harvey's backyard and the party's there. Oh, we're going to go bar. through. Yeah, yeah we're going to go bar. through the Harvey's backyard thing. But for people coming to Urban this year, you know, we have the cracker of an album, and it is hitting some really good points at the moment we've got your latest single out there at the moment yeah like beer that's sitting at 21 on the country tracks charts <laughs> but are we going to see all a uh, mix from you know way back to the good hearted woman's and i'm doing all right house jack bill all that sort of stuff right through to today or what are we going to see this year yeah, with um absolutely Adam? mate yeah absolutely we'll do uh we'll do some of the good old stuff too you know and i i still love singing that stuff the house that jack built and the genie in the yeah. bottom of the jim bean bottle and some of the good old stuff i did with troy cast the classic country yeah. stuff and uh, I'll, I'll yeah do one or two of the new songs but not too many of those and uh you know lots of lots of stuff that people will know and and that's the whole idea i think you know people want to get out and they 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 want to come away to these festivals and, and forget about all their cares and their dramas for a few hours and just have a bit of fun and and you know and let their hair down and and uh, and that's what it's all about you know it's escapism you know, we, well, we, is, we, yeah. we need to escape from all the doom and gloom that we see on the on the on the news and in the newspaper mm -hmm. and everything, and, and just have some fun. So, how does Adam Harvey escape? <laughs> well, I don't know. I've got two teenagers at home oh, at the moment on school holidays, so I've got Justin Bieber in one bedroom and Miley Cyrus <laughs> in the other bedroom. So. Yeah, all under the one roof. So Yay. <laughs> yeah, you but we're, uh, yeah I, I do a bit of fishing and spend mm -hmm. a bit of time with the kids, and uh, you know that's I guess what it's all about. You know, I'm away a fair bit, so mm -hmm. when I'm at home, I just love to be home and hang out with the kids and do simple things and and try and be Mister Mum for a little while and and make the school lunches and get them off to school and get their breakfast and you know it's uh, yeah re really important stuff that I guess at the end of the day you know kids need time. And that's the you know it's people often say that, but it's so true. They just need yeah. time with their parents. You know. And I suppose um, you know, being the Adam Harvey that you are, you know, people want to see you all the time. And it's you know, as much as your fans want to see you, and that your your family wants to see you, and your family needs you, so they do come first. And there's, there's, family always comes first. Yeah, family has to. is everything. And uh, uh, you know, it's it's funny because my kids both love music. But they hate country music. So uh, my son loves rap music, mm -hmm. and he's just discovered this amazing new band called Guns and Roses. Oh yeah, they are <laughs> new, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that I've heard of them before. But so when he's when he's playing up and he's badly behaved, 
his mother, rather than ground him, his mother makes, makes him, him come away with me to my shows. <laughs> oh, I love it to death. That's <laughs> so good that's stuff. Pretty tough. <laughs> and, and of course, my, our daughter Layla is uh, loves opera music, and she wants to be mm-hmm. an opera singer. And uh, so she's uh, having opera lessons at the moment, and uh, she's threatening me, you know, saying that she's going to be a real singer, oh. unlike her father. <laughs> Well, I totally understand where you're coming from because our daughter is very talented and she hates country music as well. And as much as you try to pull them over, it, you know, you just got to let them take their own way. <laughs> but I do love it when, as you just said, you know, that when they hear these new bands like Guns N' Roses and they go, oh, listen to this brand new song, and you start singing along with it, all of a sudden mum and dad become cool because yeah, we know the new songs. it's a funny old world, isn't it? Hey? It is new. It sure mm. is. Well, Adam, thank you very much for joining us tonight. As I said, folks, two weeks to go. Now, uh, just before we went on air, Adam actually gave me a little bit of a surprise and he has been able to secure two Friday night and two Saturday night tickets for Tracy and the Big D to give away to our lucky listeners. So we're going to run that competition over the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for doing that, Adam. And That's an absolute pleasure, darling, and I can't wait to get up there and play. It's going to be a fantastic festival and we'd love everyone to come along. Lots of fun, lots of great music, and uh, I'm sure you'll have a great time. Oh, so it kicks off um, two weeks' time, Friday the 29th, and it goes right through till Monday the 1st of May. So, Adam, we will see you there on Saturday night. Thank you very much. And you know what? A lot of girls sort of go, ooh, it's a man thing. But you know what? Yeah, I like beer. Here it is right now. (laughs)